All right, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB um, if you're looking to boot from, say, an ultimate boot CD so you can run a password removal tool or so you can run Kali Linux, Linux Mint, anything like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your pen drive in or the thumb drive, the USB device that you want to um, that you want to use, and you're going to click Start, go into Computer, and this is the one I'm going to use. You're going to right click, you're going to format it. You're going to leave this all the same except you're going to make sure this is FAT32. <clears throat> and then you keep the volume label the same, quick format, click start, and then click OK. OK, mine is in use, so the format is complete. OK. Once it's complete, you click OK, you click close. And then you can close this out and then copy and paste the uh, URL link that I provided below into your favorite browser. Click paste. Once this pops up, you click the blue download button. And this is my own personal upload, so you don't have to worry about it being infected with anything. Once it pops up, the Edwin32, you click save. <coughs> Once this arrow turns blue, if you're in Firefox, the other ones will be down here somewhere. Explorer or Chrome. Once it turns blue, you click click on this, and then click Run. Click Yes if you have anything popping open. Okay, now you're going to click Next. You're going to click I accept the agreement. Click Next. And you're going to click Next again next again now over here you're going to create a desktop icon click next click install when this is done do not click finish right away uncheck the launch win32 Im disk imager so it doesn't run and then uncheck the view readme text click finish <clears throat> and then you can minimize your browser and now what we're going to do is right click on the win32 and i'm going to give you a little advice before um, know what disk you're looking for or what image you're looking for and where you can find it and preferably the name of it so um when i and i'm going to show you why in a second well click yes now <clears throat> right here you'll notice that you're the, not, the letter to your USB device is in here, so if I pull my, my device out, it'll disappear. But if I put it back in, it'll it'll show back up again. So you just want to make sure this is your USB device. Then click this little file here, and this is where we're going to direct this towards the, the um, ISO image that you're looking to burn. Now, if you don't find it right off the bat in here, Go ahead and, like, mine is this Kali Linux here, so um, I'm going to type in Kali Linux and see how it starts popping up. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click Open. And that's it right there. So the next thing you know, I'm going to click Write. And I'm gonna, it's going to tell me that... Uh, can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes. And then you just wait for it to finish. And when the program is done writing the image to the um, USB device, it will say write successful. And that's it. You're done. Shut your computer down. Restart from the USB device and it should work. Hope you guys had a great... Yeah. Skip that part.